Welcome to our PolyDoc Features and Benefits training session. In this session, we will be covering the PolyDoc sections, connectors, anchoring, and available accessories. PolyDoc is a modular, rotationally molded polyethylene floating dock system. The recessed areas on the bottom of each section help to provide stability between the dock and the surface of the water. This means less movement as you walk the length and width of your dock system. PolyDock is designed to feel firm under its slip-resistant brick-patterned surface. PolyDock is a great choice for nearly any waterfront application because its modular design is made to last, highly configurable, and easy to add on as your needs change. Plus, PolyDock is easy to own because it requires minimal maintenance. PolyDock is designed for strength and stability and features an attractive walking surface with a herringbone pattern. The PolyDock features UV inhibitors, which help protect the plastic compound from degrading over extended periods of time in direct sunlight. There is virtually no maintenance required for a PolyDock. After a couple of years of use, it might be good to go back and retorque some of the bolts and the connectors. To keep the dock clean, all you'll need is a soft bristle brush and soapy water. It's easy to install, easy to take out, and easy to reconfigure. If you decide you want to change it from year to year, there's a lot of things that a homeowner can do by themselves. PolyDock can be left in the water in some locations, or, if needed, it is very easy to remove from the water during the winter and reinstall in spring. PolyDock is very versatile for different applications from residential, marinas, small commercial applications, municipality boat launches, and kayak launches. Two of the ways we increase the PolyDock's stability and strength are thick dock sections and kiss-offs. A kiss-off is an area where the bottom of the float meets the top of the float. So, you can see in the bottom of the dock section we have the concave portion and it reaches up and it adheres to the top. Those kiss-offs create several cavities under the dock sections. These act like a suction cup, which keeps the platform better planted to the water surface. You can look at the bottom of a dock section and see there are between 100 to 300 kiss-offs in a section. That's just going to strengthen the walking surface of the dock. On this photo, you can see around the outer perimeter how thick the walls are. This allows for all our dock connection kits and accessories to be added. Another thing that is going to add to the stability of these docks is the connections. The connections are available for three or six foot wide docks and run the full width of the dock. Dock connectors are designed to increase the stiffness of the entire dock system and allow the dock to move as one unit. The PolyDock's herringbone brick pattern allows for a clean and slip-resistant walking surface. The docks are easy to install and you don't need any special tools. If you've done this, there's a few tricks to the trade when you're putting your connections together. We recommend pre-assembling the connectors and sliding them over each dock section, then tightening them up. Make sure you don't over-torque them because that'll cause some damage to that connector. The torque specs are all in the instructions. The nice thing about the connectors is they float. If you drop one in the water, it won't sink so you can easily retrieve it. If you want to connect them end to end or side to side, you have that flexibility. You can easily add to or reconfigure a dock. You might have to change out connectors or buy different connectors, but the dock sections are the same. The PolyDock system can be used out in front of your cabin if you want to just have a dock next to your boat lift, or in a marina application like what is shown here. With walkways and finger piers coming up the sides, you can park multitudes of boats in one slip. Year to year, if the boats get bigger, you can easily move those fingers to widen the slips, and you can add on to the docks. We haven't changed the design of it in 20 years, so all the new docks will connect with the old docks. The connectors may have changed a little bit from aluminum to composite. We offer a wide variety of sizes, so you can make just about any configuration that you need. Here are a few of the poly dock options that we have done. 
PolyDock is compatible with the shore port. We can connect those directly to the PolyDock with the connectors that are the appropriate front and rear connectors. PolyDock has a 6-inch dock height, so it's going to provide you with about 16 inches of freeboard. This is great for smaller boats, kayaks, canoes, or even just for a swimming dock platform. All these sections do have a vent on them, so air can escape in hot weather. This prevents the docks from swelling and expanding, but they will keep the water from entering that location. An important and key feature of the poly dock is the square footage of the dock sections. While we list in the nearest foot, they are a little bit bigger than that. In this chart, we can see that a 4x6 section is 4.24 by 6.05 feet, making its square footage at 25.69. When you are selling against some of the competitors, make sure that we're using the actual square footage of the docks. We have also listed here the buoyancy per section. The connectors are an important part of what makes PolyDock so stable. They link all these sections together and allow the unit to act as one while still allowing flexibility when there is some wave action. The connectors will help dissipate the energy from one section to the other. So if you have something that hits one section, that energy is going to be dissipated to the adjoining sections. Shown here is a 4-foot connector and the 3 connector rods. All connectors come with a disc at the bottom and the top that bolt together. They are tall enough that when you put them together, you can put them over the lip of each dock and tighten. The bottom of the connector is a composite rod, and then the bolt on the top is stainless steel, so it is very resistant to corrosion. No special tools are required to install a polydock connector. PolyDock has many different anchoring options, while the most common are the pipe brackets. The large poly pipe bracket comes with a two-foot connector and is clamped to the side channel of the PolyDock. You can move this about anywhere you want on the dock. We recommend that for commercial installations and areas where the water is rough, that you use the large pipe bracket. The light-duty pipe bracket is a two-piece that still clamps over the side rail like everything else connects but there are bolts that clamp it down around the perimeter of that pipe bracket. So, if you look at the cutout area, there is a bolt on either side and one on the very front of it. That is to be used in lighter-duty situations, farm ponds, and light residential layouts. We also have pipe brackets for the rear of the shore port. The rear of the shore port is tapered, so it is not as tall as the front. A smaller pipe bracket will clamp onto the back of the shore port. We also offer augers for a 2-inch pipe as well as the pipe itself that is just a standard 2-inch Schedule 40 pipe. The auger goes into the 2-inch pipe and bolts together so you can drill the pipes into the lake bed. In situations where the water is too deep, we will anchor the dock with weights on the bottom. The black UHMW inserts are the same for all three of these, so they are interchangeable. That is a three-quarter inch UHMW plastic. There's a couple of ways you can connect chains to a poly dock. The chain anchor plate will attach to a six-inch accessory plate that hangs down near the bottom of the dock. That plate will then attach onto the bottom of that keyhole with one of the links. We do recommend crisscrossing chains wherever possible. When you are anchoring with a chain, you need to make sure that the dock is anchored in each direction. We also recommend a 4 to 1 slope, meaning if you have 10 feet of water depth, we will want that anchor out 40 feet. So you are not just pulling straight down on the dock, but you are pulling it at an angle that will give it the horizontal resistance that is needed. You will want to analyze the situation and make sure the dock is secure from blowing too far in all directions. Common for the coastal areas of Florida is timber piles or telephone poles. We do have pipe brackets 8, 10, and 12 inch size. Those are aluminum hoops with a roller that attaches to the dock. Pile hoops keep the dock in position while allowing vertical travel to accommodate water fluctuations and tidal changes. We also offer other stiff arm anchors in areas where you have deep and fluctuating water with a seawall. 
Stiff arms allow you to install the dock without the need to drive pipe or install dead weights into the lake or river bottom. Ideal for environmentally sensitive or protected areas. These stiff arms keep the dock from moving in and out. If the water level changes, the stiff arm will rotate up or down. The only thing to make sure is that all the pivot locations are on the same plane, so it all rotates up and down. Standard gangways from PolyDock products are available in 4 foot width with lengths of 16, 20, and 24 feet. Our standard gangways feature durable aluminum construction and can be equipped with short end hinges for quick and easy setup and installation. Standard gangways can use any of our nine decking options and a 36 inch handrail. Gangways are available with rollers so we can roll this on the dock with a float cradle. If you are going to hinge it on the dock and rest or roll it on shore, then we would recommend a float cradle to help carry some of that weight that the gangway places on the end of the poly dock. Custom sizes for gangways are available. Please talk to our customer support team for more information. Ramps are mostly used in locations that have minimal water fluctuation and in locations where the distance between the dock and shore is less than 8 feet. Polydock ramps are designed to be an integral part of the Polydock floating dock system, so they are easy to install and easy to use. All Polydock ramps are constructed from high quality aluminum for maximum durability and minimal maintenance. We offer four and eight foot standard ramps that will hinge to the end of the dock and rest on shore. All the accessories found on the Shoremaster Infinity Dock series can be used on the Polydock system. There is a 6-inch accessory plate that you can use to attach most of them. If you are looking to attach a bench, there is a special bench connector to disperse the weight over a larger area. There are also swim ladder connectors. You must use that to connect the pivot ladders to the poly docks. Those are the two items that you need to use special connectors. For the rest of them, whether it's vertical bumpers, furniture handrails, kayak launches, or kayak racks, things like that, they will all use the standard 6-inch accessory plate. Thanks so much for watching our PolyDoc Features and Benefits training session. If you have any questions or comments, please contact the Waterfront Brands customer support team.